Alright. Monke ist. Monke ist. Hello, hello. Peggy, How Eddie. are you clapping? <laughs> See, stay where I right? The addiction. Uh, the addiction. Alright, time for the PP again. Oh, now it's gonna be the countdown, I see. Insane. Insane. Or not, ah, time for odds even. Okay, they make peripherals, I forgot. Oh, they initially started by making peripherals, I think. Or milk publishing shit even. Some pomegranate sparkling water. And I have some bun. How would the chicken? A kurnik. Hey, Nick, hello. And the foreign potato, yeah. It's an interesting shape indeed, yeah. Bought the controller from them. I see. I win all the games. Oh god. A lucky draw. The cynic I see him. Actually, good controller. Oh, yeah, that game is also from them. It's like out for two days or something. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, the Clash one. The new Super Souls like. Once upon a time, the hey, world Sok. of dreams, reverie, was invaded by nightmares. The Ravens were Them clapping feels bad, man. Reverie, called upon fallen heroes. Of Did you transform into Normie? To join forces to defend the world. From the developers of the acclaimed Curse of the Dead Gods, this upcoming action roguelite is set in a dark fantasy tale. And playable solo or in online. Oh, yeah, it's Curse of the Dead Gods. Hmm. They were uh, focused, I think, before. Wasn't weren't they? Heroes. Little Red Not Nathan. The Pied Piper, the Snow Queen. Choose from six popular characters, each with their own playstyles. Master their abilities and fight back against the evil corrupting the world. More heroes will be added during the early access. Explore vast and ever-changing sure. chapters. With their own cast of enemies and quests. Collect dream shards to buy power ups and magical objects from the Sandman and fight hordes of enemies to level up. Each hero has multiple abilities at their disposal. First is the trait, a hero's core mechanic that defines their gameplay. For instance, Scarlet transforms into the wolf at night, Beowulf carries a worm that empowers his next attacks. Aladdin can call the genie of the lamp to make a wish. Each hero also has a dash, three different Any good games and them? one yeah. defensive ability. Finally unlocking their ultimate ability when reaching level five. Yeah, Raven's Watch. These abilities are improved with the experience you gain from battles. Each level up makes you stronger and gives you the opportunity to choose a new upgrade that improves one of your abilities. All of this makes each of the six heroes completely Nothing unique. super crazy, I think they still kind of published. Play Not that I can find out. think of. In typical roguelike fashion, each run is As in, like, some super big. the horde of nightmares. If they get you, your run is over and you'll need to restart, but don't lose hope. Each run is an opportunity to unlock better magical objects and upgrades for your next Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, as well as learning more about the They were published by Focus before, I think. Raven's Watch offers now it's Naken. Challenges, both in solo and it's the in same engine, there. seems like. You can see Find the style is kind of similar. Of heroes, each with their own and I mean, the game was good. And make those synergies count as the challenge scales with the number of players. 
Join now and follow us. I think I played more than Hades even to be honest. Roguelike jet. Or close to it. Golem time. Hmm. Not just Golem. The keeps. You just, they just need to add like three more letters and then it's good. Huh? Dude, I, I read that one completely wrong first. Nice, Steve, nice. Ah, I see Steve, I see him. A bit too fast. Give one second. Tactical turn based stuff. Name HPM. Hello. Hello, we are Lucas and Thomas from Hecate, and this is Ad Infinitum. Ad Infinitum is a project that started in 2014 during our study years. Back in the days, as students, we worked Super on horror. solely a mere concept and trailer. We later got surprised by the traction it received. While the idea for this game has been stuck in our heads for years, and after several small advances with prototypes, we finally started to commit ourselves to a full-time production in 2019. With crazy ambitions and a passion for horror and darker themed games, we gathered a team of young, international, passionate people in Berlin. This is my ball! And don't you forget it! In Art Infinitum, you play a young German soldier who's trapped between two realities. Wait, wasn't it the, the one reality, the Tultan link? No, I think there was a different one. A seemingly was abandoned it? mansion in Berlin. Unveil the sinister secrets that haunt this place while unraveling the echoes of its past. The other reality confronts you with the gruesome scenes of World War I. <laughs> You have to crawl through the muddy trenches of the east of France and explore various other places themed around the Great War, which you can explore in the final game. In our game, you will have to solve intricate enigmas. That was like a box something or whatever. A mind <coughs> so distorted that it is completely losing its grip on reality. Now it's up to you, the player. The scary part is the FPS, yeah. But well, right now it's good what's kinda scary indeed. Of a never ending nightmare. While encountering various manifested horrors throughout the game, you are bound to uncover the truth. The truth so disturbing that we ask you, can you handle it? We are very excited to show you more of the game in the near future. Together with Naken, we are hard at work to bring the vision of Ad Infinitum to life. This project is very dear to us, and to create the best possible experience for you, we have to ask you for a little bit more patience. I mean, there were some, you would never be content to release but this usually game like that is so dear to a us. More niche theme than kind of like some Nordic horrors. This there is were. Where we decided to move the release from April to September this year. We thank you for your understanding and ongoing support. In the meantime, make sure to wishlist the game on Steam and follow us on social media to be updated on the advancements of the game. Here, you will also be able to find more content about Ad Infinito. Thank you all, and see you next time. No drugs for you, brother.
some big booba there. Honestly, I feel like nowadays, you know, like showing the whole monster might be kind of not even the best idea. Like when it's just like arms, you know, and stuff, that's kind of like a little kind of like, you know, mystic there and stuff. Hi everyone, and welcome to this short game. And then they show all of it and you just kind of... Clash Most of the time, it's not even that impressive, in you know. A world that <coughs> some of you may have already in Hello. explored in the Zeno Clash games. You play as a hermit, yeah, yeah, Suda, yeah. who embarks on a journey with a small companion he calls the boy. For reasons you'll discover and this in the one game, is already out. mercenaries commanded by an all-powerful ruler Apparently are trying pretty to hard. Them. So Pseudo sets out Harder on an adventure to Elden Ring, as journalists in said. In traditional uh. RPGs, you equip weapons. In Clash, you equip Any good games? Lightning I mean, uh, the 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 Raven's Watch, right? That one was good. That one was nice. Favorites whenever you want and adapt to the enemies you face. As you progress and explore the world, you unlock new stances and upgrade the ones you prefer to custom your own devastating fighting style. The gameplay takes inspiration from 2D fighting games. Like in those, you can interrupt the animation of a regular attack to launch a special attack and create custom combos which makes fights very fluid and fast. Another cool feature is that when your rage meter is fully charged, you can switch the viewpoint to first-person mode. If you then manage to complete a full sequence of attacks, you'll execute a spectacular finisher. Before a fight breaks out, you can choose to challenge an enemy to the ritual. This game is quick and by meeting the vibes of candy, yeah. Throw the dice and use items on the board to try and get the highest score. The winner gets a buff or special ability for the fight that follows, such as making the loser lose HP whenever they stop moving, or summoning an extra ally for support. Of course, winning or losing the ritual doesn't mean you'll win or lose the fight. Basically, it's giving you either an opportunity to get the upper hand or an additional challenge to overcome. When exploring the world, you'll sometimes find sites where you can set up camp. You can use the tent to sleep and advance time to night when Pseudo dreams and takes the form of a wooden alter ego. At night, enemies are darker and fiercer. Hidden chests and items appear, and new paths open up. In Clash, switching between your two forms is key to fully explore the world and to progress in your journey. Finally, if you die during the day, you get another chance by respawning at night at the last place you set up camp. If you manage to return to your body by fending off the nighttime enemies in your way, you'll be able to revive and rescue the boy just in time. There are countless other features and secrets to be discovered in Clash. We hope you enjoyed this brief gameplay overview, and that we'll see you soon in Xenozoic. It's from the like the Xeno Clash universe. Not super familiar for many, probably. For me, not exactly, just heard the name, I guess. Can I have my $20,000 DLCs? Please? Otherwise, it's not the proper train simulator. Just play on Switch and you can do it IRL too. It's that simple. It's that simple. Hey, all there. Hey, Roman.
Now what else will they show? Yeah, so far pretty nice. No talking, nothing. Straight to business. Me likey. Me likey. She sounds a mod. Eh? Just asks for it. Just asks for it. How is going out there? Insane. The super trailer. In the bay, yeah. Transport Fever Console Edition, I see. I got this one on consoles. See Robocop for the end, I mean, they will show for sure. And Golem too. Rabakok and Golem. No talking yet. Yeah, I think there's probably none. French companies, man. Tour de France and rugby. What else? What else do you need? Dear Elizabeth, I imagine the fields of Lansbury are beautiful now, blooming with the dawn and shining in the sun. I was shot in the leg last week, but don't worry. It's a world war again, yeah. William gave his all to bring me out of the trench. I want to tell you what it's I think like we saw this one before. So I can yeah, I recognize this one. Me. They brought me to the CCS, where they had to choose who to save and who would die. This is the last one we can afford to save. Leave all the others. Poor men. Life here is hell, but it's better than being in the trenches. They're trying to make more room and make things better. Nice. But it's hard. Nice. I got on the table quickly. The German who shot me had more sympathy in his eyes than the surgeon. They're exhausted, but they're still doing their best. We can't do a good job under these conditions. Where are the bandages I asked for? Some of them keep scouting for supplies. It's a dangerous thing to do during these troubled times, and they have to make tough decisions. Will they ever forgive us, Sergeant? I can hear the whistle blowing. New soldiers are coming, and I have to join them. I'm ready to go back, but I'm not sure my mind is. If you ever meet a chap that says he wants to go back, call him a liar. I'll love you forever. You're Jack. At the war hospital. Yeah, that might be nice. That might be nice. The commander's manager. Yeah. Hello, my name is Andrea Stefano. Time for some talking. Director on Gangs of Sherwood. Today, I'm pleased to be able to share with you the first minutes of gameplay or for Sherwood sure you. Game. Gangs of guess, Sherwood. It's based on the Robin Hood legend, but you'll see. I think it's a bit different than what you might expect. I hope you enjoy.
Coop. At last, Kirkley's keep. Sinister lair of the Prioress. Wow. I hope we can find some of these workers alive. Your brother included, Tuck. I could use a day without any lethal traps around me. I'll feel ya. I almost died twice today. Don't you like the dialogue, yeah? Hey, do this. People suffer all my life. This is something else. This prison was designed to hold hundreds of people. And yet, most of the cages are empty. Where are all the prisoners? I have a feeling. the cool sensor daughter. I mean, it kind of seemed like it. From the goons we fought in Loxley. Aren't you allergic to pollen, brother? I remember the sneezing and the gallons of snot. I almost said bless you. And you would have lied. Great time. Whoa. How about that? Looks like someone mixed steel and body parts to an uncertain outcome. Brothers, show yourself. Your hellish deeds cease tonight. Gonna have the gonna have the talking going. You're about to witness the rebirth of my child, born from flesh and steel, drenched in so much blood. But we want more. We want yours. Make your mother proud, Red Roger of Nottingham. I went ham there. In the fool of them. Yes, the yeah, I'm not sure about the the co-op part. Oh here he comes. Bites steel grinds hard stones to meal. Darkness grows beyond our borders. Ah, did they make it better this time? After last year's show, they just delayed it. Evil linger among us, Gandalf. The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? Nothing. I swear. The Lord sent me, his emissary, to oversee matters in person. Bring it back. Kill it, if need be. We must find help. We That's a super, no, super young again, Dolph. It's in general some dang lore stuff, I guess. This is the USA, I mean, true. Nothing more precise, just in case. Here he comes.
you came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. There we see the Robocop, there we see uh, all that's quite the boomer stuff I would say already at this point. Wasn't there some restart or something though? Surrender your weapons. Bonus. Your Raven's Watch was quite uh, quite interesting. I would say Golem looks kind of okay. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Wasn't this there? translate well into a game. We'll see how they're gonna play. Yeah, it's kinda a bit weird. Huh? It looks like it's kinda more for, you know, um, kinda like the rail shooter or something, you know, when you just like kinda shoot at the targets that are going. Or like VR or something. Hey, me? Nah, not really. Hello. Not really. I just streaming. That's pretty much it. It is from them, alright. Yeah, that one that one apparently was one of the one of the good adaptations. One of the good games based on the gaming licenses or uh, boogie licenses rather. And that's it, seems like, yeah. Kinda just like restarting it or something. Wait, what? Stream starting in 30. Is it just the same one? Seems like it, I guess. See, we done just a just a just a streamer, basically. That's what we do here. All we do here. And the same, yeah. That was the intro that we haven't seen even. <laughs> that we haven't even seen. <laughs> because they started uh, already way later. Is it? it? Probably is, I guess. Unless they're gonna... Yeah, yeah, seems like it. I mean, wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna do like some sort of like talking stream now after dropping all the trailers and stuff one after another one. But that's all there is to it, I guess. Yeah, hello. Yeah, just replay it after it ends. Well, I mean, it's the YouTube, eh? So it's all already was uh, it was recorded and uh, you could also scroll all of that and everything. It's good then. Um, it's good then. Um, hey, did we go? Hello. Uh, we good then. Well, hmm. There is, there is, there is some nice stuff. There is some nice stuff. Well, basically just the, the Curse of the Dead Gods devs. Um, uh, that one is, uh, is one, one of the, one of the good ones. Uh, this one. Robocop, not sure yet. It looked kind of a little... I don't know, like this, uh, this weird, um, like movement was kind of, that movement was kind of weird. Yeah, not sure. The writer, no, not really, not really. Yeah, what else was there? Some of the trench stuff was kind of okay, I guess. The hospital simulator thing is okay. Golem might be interesting. Bunch of like sports and other stuff that you know, kind of whatever. But yeah, nothing nothing uh, looked actually bad indeed. Eh? But it's uh, it's quite uh, it's quite like average. Well, that's I guess kind of like the thing of uh, of all the recent events. Nothing you know super poga, just kind of 
something solid and okay. Now, Golem, they actually kind of worked on it. Well, they kind of worked on the Golem. And the purpose on this side, well, I mean, just to be there. Oh, that's pretty much it. They have my email and everything there. I used to blog there a little bit. And now it's on hiatus for the time for the time being. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. The Robocock will be fun. The movement is weird. I'm not sure. Movement is kinda weird. I'm not sure how it's gonna how it's gonna feel actually when you when you play it. I'm not sure about that one. Golem Golem kinda seemed that they worked on worked on it at least. Like last year they show it. Uh people were just kinda you know not super impressed by that they were not super impressed by that and it uh, looks like at least for a year they just put it put in some work for it so that is good that is good maybe i'm, I'm maybe i'm not you never know curse of the dead gods curse of the dead gods was uh very nice i played a bunch i played a bunch the right from golem that's probably the the horror one what was the name of that one I forgot about that one. That was uh, oh, the Infinitum, right, or something? That one was okay. That one was okay. It wasn't interesting. But yeah, Golem, Golem has already improved. Golem already improved a lot. Me likey, me likey. We'll see what's gonna end up there. The real shooter could work. I mean, it's kind of like a specific type of game, but I guess it kind of works lately, though. Um, the Until Dawn developers uh, making one right for for PlayStation. It works better in VR, though. I think I'm not sure if it's like on for the regular systems. Not sure. Not sure. How's it dead for VR? Wasn't there something actually like that made before? It wasn't there. I kinda kinda remember something like this. Or was it like from the developers of that game or something? Yeah, was it uh, was there something like that? Um Because yeah, the until dawn until dawn peeps already making some. Until dawn people already making some, that is good. Eh? The Rambo Rail shooter, alright. Yeah, absolutely shit, okay, good. Well, the real shooter is a very specific genre though. I'm not I'm not really super into it. I think it's more like for VR or you like some arcade stuff. Not sure if it's something you would be just sitting on the PC playing, you know. Not sure. Not sure about that one. But overall, overall was a nice one. That was a nice one. Yeah, that was was that an infinitum or something? I don't remember. The the World War One horror stuff. There was also the hospital simulator thingy from World War One. That was nice too. And they're busy with like 30 dark pictures games. No, they're making the rail shooter too. They delayed it a bit, I think. They delayed it, I think, not long ago though. But the overall is nice. Overall is nice. Uh, supposedly, supposedly. The dark picture is over. Mm, could be. That could be. It's season one, all right, let's see. The season one. The space one in the way, so you mean horror from them? No, I don't think they, they, they do something for in, in space yet. Oh, it is? The Resistance season two is gonna be, ah, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, here it was kind of already. I'm okay with that. A little bit, a little bit of sports that no one really cares much about. Some train sims and everything, but they also kind of just like skip them through pretty fast. And it was no talking, nothing, just trailers and stuff. So not a big one, but was a good one. That was a good one. Hello, Blakey. True, true. It was not a lot, but it was good. One dude talked. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. That is true. They had a little bit. They had a little bit of it. What did they show last year? I don't remember actually. What is already out? No, I guess the Steel Rising and stuff. Blood Bowl, actually. <laughs> that is also theirs. That one is not going that well currently. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. 
Not that good. Um, currently not really. Uray. Uray. Well, that was uh, not very long, but that was okay. That was okay. Yeah, the Curse of the God Dead Gods um, devs game, we'll see. That one looks kind of potentially quite interesting. That one might be something good to play. Yeah, we'll see about, about the rest. Maybe some golem at some point. We'll see. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow, one military camp for First Look Friday. And uh, we'll see what's in the morning. Probably a little bit of Todd or something. I think memes. I see, I see. And yeah, they had some they had some interesting stuff going on before for sure. That they did. They also pulled back in the day some interesting for content creator stuff with the um, and with this kind of like uh, what was the name? About vampires and stuff about Dracula and everything. That one was also interesting. When they send some sort of like demos to everyone and you get like the full game when you when you stream it and everything and then full game never actually appeared, you know. <clears throat> seen that, seen that. The two point hospital like sorta, yeah, sorta about the how the military camp. That one might be interesting. So yeah, we'll we'll see that one tomorrow. Then there'll be another one, I'll send you one on Saturday. Like there's there's just a bunch of stuff. I don't know what happened. It's just a bunch of stuff releasing and they just like, you know, keep uh, keep messaging and everything. So are we gonna are we gonna do some of that? Are we gonna do some of that probably? All right. All right. Uh, that is good for us to go then. See ya. Gonna call the day. I'll be back tomorrow, 8.30 MCET.